For years, I have been a strong advocate for this fight because where corruption is allowed to spread, drug trafficking and crime inevitably thrive and this is negative for our neighbors, it is bad for us, it is bad for our interests. That's why it is vital that we make battling corruption in the region more of a priority of our foreign policy. In fact, earlier this year, I traveled to Honduras and to Guatemala with my good friend, Albi Osiris, and we saw firsthand how these governments are attempting to tackle corruption in their countries. It is not easy, Mr. Speaker. They are making progress and taking some of the tough decisions necessary, but there's so much more to be done. Some of these governments have shown a willingness to take these steps, but sadly, Mr. Speaker, not all of them have. While we urge willing partners to take the steps necessary to fight corruption, we must be willing to do more for those unwilling. That is why I have reintroduced my NECA Act which aims at tightening the economic screws on the Ortega regime until we see some drastic reforms, including efforts to end corruption. It is our duty to support our neighbors so that our partners to the South can live in a far more open, free, and democratic societies.